you know, constipation, it is a really sucky problem to have. Hi everyone, Leslie Morrison here from LM Fitness. Uh, I'm gonna do a um, video or vlog, whatever you wanna call it today, about something that comes up quite a lot with, um, not just with people I work with, but just in general, a lot of people I talk to when I'm talking about nutrition or general health. And that is constipation, okay? So, um, poo, I'm not a poo specialist, but I do know this much, you should be going on a daily basis. And if you're not, there's something going on in your digestion, in your digestive system that, that's potentially causing the problem. So I've got six steps here that I'm gonna give to you that may help to relieve the discomfort, the bloaty feeling, um, and kind of like the embarrassment as well, because you're never quite entirely sure when the urge may come, uh, may, may arise, um, and when you're gonna need to go. So, you know, constipation, it is a really sucky problem to have. So we need to try and deal with it properly, rather than just taking a, you know, some kind of over-the-counter remedy that's just going to relieve it temporarily. Because if there is something going on with your digestive system and you then just go and take some laxatives, the problem isn't being fixed, it's just being pushed along a little bit. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Um, so, you know, we need to... Being constipated, it can make you feel quite self-conscious as well. So we want to try and um, relieve the symptoms, relieve the discomfort, like I said. So, now I've got a blog on this and I'm going to put a comment, I'm going to put a, the link to the blog in the description below so you can go and read it in your own time as well because it is, you know, if it is a problem you've got, you may not want to be sitting and listening to someone talk about it out loud unless you've got earphones in because I wouldn't suggest that you sit and listen to it whilst you're on a train if you haven't got earphones in. Could be a little bit embarrassing. Um, so rather than just remedying and fixing the problem temporarily, we want to try and go in and, and fix the problem internally, that's going to be a much better way of dealing with, with the actual problem. And, and you also need to recognise that just because you're a little bit bunged up, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got IBS. So a lot of people label sort of bloating and constipation and, and toileting habits as, a, as an IBS problem. And unless you're actually um, diagnosed officially by a medical professional, don't just label it as IBS. You know, it, it could just be that you don't have the enzymes to break down a certain food, or a uh, or certain protein, and it could be many things, okay? It could just be that your gut flora isn't quite there, or you're just eating a lot of processed foods. There's a lot of toxins trying to go from your body, just really struggling to keep up. So, um, you wanna try and go through these points one at a time, because that will highlight to you which one is actually the problem in the first place. So the first one, as with um, a lot of things to do with health and fitness is hydration so if you've got you know if you're consuming the, the recommended two two liters of water a day then you should have enough water going through your system but if you're then going out and doing loads of exercise sweating a load of it out then you need to have more than that two liters a day um, and if you've not got much water in your system then there's nothing to actually soften the stools in your bowel to actually help it pass so um, it's one of the leading causes actually of constipation so this is probably the first and foremost thing that you should try and change to try and alleviate the, the, the complaint. So what you want to try and do is drink um, half a fluid ounce of water to every pound of body weight. So if you weigh 110 pounds you need to drink um, 55 fluid ounces of water a day. Okay so this that's just a guideline. You, you want to make sure if you have a little bit too much water that's fine that's not going to hurt but not enough is going to become problematic. So number one is try and up your water intake, try and get nice and hydrated, try and get the body to be um, nice and freely flowing with the water, water supply. Okay, so the second point, the second point is also normally a really high indicator, which is fibre intake. So if you're not eating, um, say a lot, of, a lot of green veg, a lot of vegetables and, and things like that, or grains or, or whatever, then you're potentially going to be um, underperforming with your fibre intake. 
Now this again, it, it's something that you can do really, really easily. Just add a few things into your diet on a daily basis and, and your fibre intake is going to shoot up. You need to be trying to aim for approximately 25 to 50 grams of fibre daily. And you can monitor this on something like MyFitnessPal or one of the other calorie tracking apps that are available on your mobile device. Um, and just by increasing your fibre, you, you help to ease the, the congestion. But you don't want to go whole hog and like wake up tomorrow and just suddenly have like 50 grams of fibre. You want to build it up nice and slowly so your body can actually utilise it and, and, and make good use of what you're putting in. So whilst you're increasing your fibre, you will need to increase your water intake as well. So these two things, um, don't do this one until you've got your hydration on point. And continue to drink plenty of water whilst you're increasing your fibre. Um, so try a simple point, but just try and increase like your vegetables and non-gluten grains, things like that. Okay, so point one, hydration, point two, fibre intake. Point number three is very um, helpful, but not many people know um, the impacts that this can have on your body. So breathing nice and deeply, taking good breaths in and good breaths out, will help to trigger your parasympathetic nervous system, which deals with your your rest and digest functions. So before you sit down to eat your meal, just take some nice big deep breaths and you can try doing maybe two to five minutes um, of deep breathing before you eat. So if someone else is cooking dinner or you know whilst you're waiting for dinner to cook, just take some nice big deep breaths, just get that body, get that parasympathetic nervous system functioning, get it all awake, get it, get it pumping around. So when you do eat, it's just gonna be able to break down the food much, much better. Now you can try an exercise, there's um, an exercise called 478 breathing, so you, you breathe in for 4, you hold for 7, you exhale for 8. And this can help, this rhythm can help to, to trigger that um, parasympathetic nerv nervous system. So just hold it, try and do 8 counts, uh, try and do, sorry, 4 cycles of this breathing, so you do 478, 478, 478, 478. To start with, as you become more comfortable, you can increase it, and your body should just start to relax into that digestive point. Okay, this is also going to help to relax tight muscles as well. So if you're uh, feeling a bit tense anywhere, or you've got a bit, you know, neck tension, shoulder tension, something like that, you can try this breathing technique as well because it does really help to relax um, tight muscles. So hydration, fibre, deep breathing, all really simple things. Um, potentially not going to cost anything or if, any, if something at all, not very much. So point number four is um, to rub your tummy. So I'm not talking about going, mm, but you know, belly full of food, but you want to rub in circular motion so it follows the outline of your, your, your digestive bowel, your, you know, your intestines, your bowel, and you just do it and you can also sort of just gently push the fingers in and, and work around the body and this just helps to stimulate the muscles, helps to move things around a little bit, helps to relieve gas if you've got trapped wind in there and things like that as well. Um, so you, you're just trying to basically encourage like the downward movement of, of the food through your system. Point number five is a supplement that you can take. So this is um, magnesium citrate uh, and you want to take this before going to bed every night so start with um, approximately 400 milligrams of magnesium citrate take it when you go to bed in the evening and keep taking it until when you wake up in the morning you go to the toilet and it's nice and easy and soft okay so it shouldn't be hard to, to pass your stools okay and then number six finally is a probiotic okay now a probiotic you've probably seen on TV there's lots of yogurts out there like live cultures things like that these are the kind of things but you want bifidobacterium infetus okay so this is the one that you want to look out for um, I'll put the name of that in the description below as well and it's on the blog so if you go to my WordPress blog you'll find um, you'll find this blog there but this is something that you can also increase. Now, if you go to a pharmacy, uh, 
you can ask for this and they'll be able to tell you which ones are the best ones to have. So like I say, you want uh, Bifidobacterium infitis, which is basically the best thing for your digestion. All right. So that's six really simple tips that you can do at home without embarrassment, without you know having to go and buy laxatives and things like that. But you just want to try and do each one, one at a time. Like I say, these two, when you increase your fibre, your hydration needs to go up. Your deep breathing, so that uh, four, seven, eight system, so four in, seven hold, eight out. Um, rubbing the tummy in a circular motion. Going in the right direction, don't go the other way, go the right way. Um, taking the, the magnesium citrate before you go to bed and then a probiotic just to help um, help get your, your, your gut flora nice and healthy and, and moving. Now there's one more tip that isn't on here and isn't, it is mentioned in the blog and that's apple cider vinegar. Now you can add apple cider vinegar into your lifestyle because it will help to detoxify, so it can help to withdraw all of the, the bad crap that's sitting around. Um, and it has been known to help with, with uh, digestion and constipation, things like that, and, and gas. So, what I'd suggest, if none of this works, you know, if none of these things make any difference whatsoever, is go and seek proper medical advice. Go and see your GP, go and see a specialist. Um, because obviously if, if you are suffering with constipation for a, a longer period of time, it can cause some serious health issues. So if this doesn't work, go and see your GP and talk to them about it. Tell them what you've done and then they will be able to advise accordingly. Alright, so I hope that's helped. Um, obviously if you've got any comments, just pop them down below. Please like, subscribe, all of that jazz. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, until then, bye. Thanks for watching the video, really really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit and listen to me blab on about stuff. Um, if you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also please subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos that I've done about weight loss, about mindset, exercise, fitness in general. And also check out some newer videos. So you've got a, an exercise and a recipe. So check them out. Whilst you're here as well, one more quick thing. Social media, come and follow me. You've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the website. Make sure you come, make sure you interact and please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Take care and until the next video, see you soon.